what is going on guys it's your boy Sisu here bring you guys a video here today bring you guys another font pack video end of 2017 so pretty much my first one was received very very well I did that in January and pretty much I wanted to show you guys the fonts that I've been using for the rest of this year or what I've been using currently since the past that time of course I'm not gonna be using the same 10 fonts but hey I got a couple more for you guys and if you guys would like to know I got all of my fonts from thefont.com not sponsored sponsor or anything like that but that's pretty much where I get them from so every one of these fonts that you see will be in the description down below with the name and then a download link right next to them so if you guys wish to do so you can download all of them if you want to with the last link it says all fonts together you can just download like so if you guys liked all of them so being said also don't forget all these fonts in today's video are free for personal use and also a couple of them might be actually free for 100 use if you guys just do your research stuff like that pretty simple right so let's go and get this thing going today and uh yeah hope you guys enjoy all right guys so the first font up is called evo gria this is one of my favorite fonts that I've been using. That's definitely one of my favorites in this entire list. It's one of like the coolest heading sort of really awesome italicized fonts. I've been using a lot for my thumbnails. And I've been using a lot for sort of like the main text for like a banner design. So this is definitely one of the ones that you guys pretty much see all my videos. Evo Goria, it's freaking awesome. I love it so very much. And it's definitely my favorite in this entire list. But I want to let you guys know this font is very awesome. It's not very light. It's not very thick. It's that perfect sort of like thickness in a font. And it just looks beautiful italicized. I can use it regular as well but I think it looks best in italicized, so definitely using it italicized for me, probably the best fit. So, next up is called Gothic Black. So if you guys do not know, it, uh, like, you know, the G Fuel, the whole thing about G Fuel, if you guys don't know the energy drink for, like, basically eSports, this is the font that they use for their labels. Now, if you guys wanted to, when well, I actually put the description, in, oh, the link in the description down below for the font.com, of course, to link to this actual font, it's the free version of it, but you can pretty much use sort of, like, the, uh, the actual creative uh, character table to make it more thick and kind of get this exact same look because what this is is a different version of it it's pretty much the gothic black like ultra black or whatever like that it's basically like a little simple series for five dollars you can buy it yourselves it's not sponsored or anything like that but of course I am using the actual $5 version of it because I thought it looked freaking awesome. And I do like working on some G Fuel projects as they are like really awesome. They support their community very, very much. So if you're looking to design stuff for G Fuel and you're wondering what font they use, it's definitely going to be Gothic series. So next up is called Redium. I believe that's how you say it. This is probably my like second runner to Evo Gora because I've used this a lot for basically a subtext after the fact that I have this little Evo Gora sort of heading, right? So for me, it just kind of matches two and two based on the first one I showed you guys. And then this font right here looks really freaking awesome. So next up is called Next Art. Now, basically, I believe I had like a Next Series sort of font. I'm not even sure if they're like together, but this font right here, just it just like, how do you say? It's just so very clean in its own right. It has like this little aerial feel to it. Not at all, but you guys see what I'm saying? It's very sort of like not flat it just makes so much sense i don't know i don't know what i'm looking to say here but it just looks really awesome and clean it's a very very awesome font if you're like for some reason if you love ariel so very much maybe you'll like this one that's how i feel right okay so the next one here is like one of those just one of those weird fonts i gotta throw in there because i had like the what was like the the boast font from last video that was kind of weird but also a lot of people kind of liked it for, so for me the one here this is called Crantees or cran something like that so pretty much what i loved about this font it just looked really fun really quirky i like the little elongated sort of letters but the weirdest part is when you actually zoom into this if you were like using it in illustrator or something like that if you were to zoom in you'll see that the lines are actually not straight they're sort of curvy and it's very, very weird to look at when you start to zoom in. You can start to see what it's all about. It's a really awesome font. I really uh, like advise you guys to check it out. If, you're not, if it's not your tea, cup of tea, but it's okay, whatever. I definitely like it. I don't know. So, next one is called Vibrocentric. Now, this one right here sort of has this really cool, like, futuristic feel to it. It's also very, very, like, how do you say space with these really larger letters when in width so it's just kind of like helps fill space if you're looking for a font that you're like using it like a header name or something like that and try to fill more space in the banner design that's not very compact something that's very like loose and sort of like i said like like extended basically this is definitely a really awesome font for this and i really advise you guys to check it out so up next is called uranium now this one right here is basically one of these really bolded standalone fonts that like, like again for like more like headings and stuff like that I list I love my clean fonts but I love the ones that have like this weird character to it right so for me this font here looks really freaking awesome very sleek very awesome as well I don't know I keep saying awesome because that's what it is basically I use it in one of my previous projects that are not yet released to the public but it's a freaking awesome and I really do enjoy it very much for reasons being that it's just it's so thick it's so bold it's not as like uh how, how you say like space or super thick letters it just it just makes sense and I love it so very much and uh, I really hope you guys do as well so last but not least is called multi-color so basically <laughs> was that was that good multi-color 
all right you got that there all right so this one here is actually a really cool font it's not alone i have it right here in like two different tones of colors of course but with the actual font name itself when you guys go to the font.com they have like a little you know kind of little subtext saying like hey this font is also on my behance project you can download the actual sort of multicolored version where it's a really really awesome font where you can get multi-colored of the version of this font here which kind of like it's sort of like a rainbow kind of thing going on with each uh, each individual letter looks really freaking awesome but of course i like to use it in its own simple flat sort of blacked out font so of course with that being said that concludes my little eight list of what i'm going to be finishing off 2017 with with fonts and stuff like that so hope you guys enjoyed this video here today hope you guys will see the next video of of course for next year 2018 i'm not entirely sure how we're going to top these fonts in this video because these are some of my favorites that i've been using lately and of course how i'm going to finish off 2017 with but i want to help you guys extend your font sort of choices and then you know see what i'm using myself so thank you guys so very much for watching of course if you're not subscribed already you should definitely go subscribe and also if you guys for some reason haven't watched my other font video Video, just go ahead and check that over there those fonts are still definitely going to be in use they're still definitely you know being used from me my personal self for like other projects but right now my main focus is when you go to my most recent fonts and like illustrate and stuff like that you're definitely going to see these fonts right here so hope you guys enjoyed today's video talk to you guys later so this is my hq out don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys